Well, good to see you guys. Likewise. I don't know who the quarterback is. They're making progress. Um, they really have. Uh, I think the thing that's been really pleasing is all four of those guys have done a nice job. And I said that earlier. And it's just nice to see those guys, everybody there, playing at a high, higher level. And uh, in some ways, it'll make our job any easier figuring this out. But it's probably a good problem to have. What takeaways can you give us from the scrimmage yesterday? Um, boy, a lot of good work. Um, I thought we tackled fairly well for our first scrimmage. I think a lot of this drill stuff that we're, we're doing and that's not real football is, is paying off. Um, but with that being said, playing more real football with the, the refs out there, a full crew of them, um, you know, that, was, that was really good to have. Having the play clock, all, everything showed up. And um, so it was really good to get that on tape and try to recreate that again here in the next few days. But I thought it was really good. We, I think we had about 90, 90 plus plays of live scrimmage. And then we probably had 50 plays on top of that where we weren't totally live, but we we're doing some other stuff that was pretty good. So we, we got really good work yesterday. At what point this time of year do you like to start shifting reps to the guy who's going to be your starter? Well, I have no idea if you talk about, you guys always talk about the quarterback, but we got a lot of guys that were juggling positions and all that. And so, you know, we get a little bit further down this week, there'll be some reps cut from other guys. That, you know, everybody's kind of getting reps right now, and that'll change later in the week. Quarterback-wise, I, I don't know. You know we're we're going to play the same through this week and kind of see where we are and figure it out from there. But how do you feel just being, you know, less than two weeks away from that first game? And, and we're going to be the last week of practice and then game week. How, how do you think the team's coming along? And, and how do you feel about yeah. going into Easter? Um, seems like it's a long ways away in some ways, you know. I know it'll be here before we know it, but... It just seems like we got a lot of a lot of practice and left to do to be where we want to be for that first game. But I do I will say this, this crew has worked really, really hard. It hasn't always been as clean as we've liked it. But there hasn't been an issue at all ever of any sort of effort and we gotta go harder, we've got to pick it up. And we've been at it for a while, so that's that's been good. We just gotta get better. And if they stay with the same effort and attitude and all those things, we will. As far as freshmen, you know, obviously Cam Williams did a lot in the spring to impress, but outside of him, have there been other freshmen that have kind of stood out or that have, you know, that have really shown to you? Yeah, you know, we got a, we got a handful of them that I think are doing some good things and they play out to us doing a really nice job. Uh, uh, Trent McDuff is doing a, a nice job. He's going to be right there for playing time. And Puka is doing a good job to receive a position. Play a lot of four games. I think we're playing on not thinking four games for, for a handful of these guys. How would you assess the special teams play so far in camp? Yeah, uh, we were working really hard. <laughs> hard to know because a lot of it isn't live, and if it is live, um, it's not a lot of live reps at it. And so we have so much more work on the offense defensive side of things in terms of trying to clean that up. Do you think we're making some progress? Our kicking game, our, our kickers were really, really good yesterday. Uh, from our punters to our field goal kickers, I think we, you know, probably, uh, I think we probably had around 10. We had some live that were mixed in in the scrimmage that were just, you know, kind of a play it situation. And then we had some at the end where it was just field goal work. And if we had 10, we might have missed one um, all day. So it was really a Really, in fact, probably our, our best day kicking the ball. So, how, speaking of that, just how has Peyton Henry kind of progressed, and what do you like about his temperament and everything that he brings yeah. to the table? I've always, I've always really liked his temperament. Um, you know, for that kicker position, for sure, he's, he's pretty calm and he can keel, and um, you know, but but cares tremendously, and so. But I think it's been really good. Like, I think competition is a good thing. You know, Tim, Tim's done a nice job since he's been here from where he started to where he did. He's getting more settled in, getting more confident. And I think that's, you know, I think those guys push each other and, and 
kind of elevate each other's game. Jimmy Lake's obviously uh, highly prized around here. Um, what's what's unique about the way that wheels turn in his brain? Yeah. Yeah, I just think he's a you know a really good teacher. I think that's I, mean, I think that's obvious. But I think that's the thing that jumps out. You know, he just teaches the game and the position really, really well. And you know, it doesn't matter you know who his guys are, they all seem to kind of get what we're doing. He can play fast, he can play at a high level. Um, and so, you know, I think that's the first thing. And, guys relate to him, he relates to the guys really well, and then, you know, I think the results speak for themselves, so they've got the, he's got all that going for it, and it's a, it's a nice, um, nice situation to have back there. How's the personality of the wide receiver room different with Junior Adams? Is he doing some things different that the other guys in the past haven't? And just what's different about it? Well, it's, it's, I mean, that's, you know, it's just apples and oranges, you know, right. it's just, we're doing the same stuff, but it's his personality, and he puts a spin on things. And um, you know, I think so much has to do in, in all this coaching thing. When we're talking about Coach Lake or uh, Junior Adams, it's you know, it's it's all about connection with the kids. You know, it's about me. You know, how do how do I connect with the guys? And if we don't connect with them, the message just goes right over. And and, and that that connection thing is just so important because you know we're, we're doing real football and real life. There's going to be hard things to work through, and if you don't have that good connection, you can't push them through these hard times. And um, so that's, I think, one thing that um, you know that's nice in there. I think he's being here a short time. I think he's connected well to those receivers. What you do that's really good. What's that one thing that Junior does that just makes him a good coach? Um, you know, I don't know if there's any one thing that anybody does, but. You know, I, I think it's probably the connection. I mean, I, I think he connects well to the staff and he connects well to the players. Um, if there's any one thing, that's probably it. But you also got to know what the heck you're talking about football-wise, drill-wise. He's played the position, so he obviously has some credibility there as well. I mean, all those little things add up. With Hunter Bryant, you know, he's always had that athleticism, but where is he better now in terms of either technique or maturity or, or whatever it is? Yeah. Um, you know, I think experience, there's no substitute for experience. You have all kinds of ability. You can get away with that for a while, that carries you a long way, but if you're gonna really raise your game, you really gotta have that experience. And so now he's been here a little while and seen what we do and played in big games and all that. And, uh, you know, I think that's the biggest thing, just getting getting more and more familiar with the speed, the tempo, the, the nuances of whether it's blocking as a tight end or running routes, because he hasn't done a, a whole lot of that before he got here. As a, Tight end. Did you ever get into a game or season with, with the intent to play two different quarterbacks? If that was our best chance to win, absolutely. Are you considering that? If that gives us our best chance to win, absolutely. I'll, we'll consider four quarterbacks if that gives us our best chance to win. <laughs> right down how, how do you square that with, I mean, you said before, you, you don't want your starter looking over his shoulder, worried about making mistakes? We'll, we'll set the we'll set the deck as we go into it, so everybody knows what the what the playing rules are. If there's you know one guy, it's one guy. And if there's three guys, it's three guys. And we'll say you're playing this and you're playing that. And, you know, we'll, we'll make sure we take care of that. So go ahead, headlines. We're playing four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Yeah.